Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? How about your boy, Bam Rodriguez? versus SSOR run Vinci. Man, what a wonderful fight we had a chance to witness in a weight class that a lot of people don't really try and pay too much attention to. You know, the Bantam weight division is one of the most stacked divisions. And here you have a 22-year-old Bam Rodriguez that man put on a masterful, and I say a masterful boxing match against Run Vinci. And I tell you what, from the first round to the last round that your homeboy went down on, look, it was a beautiful fight. Run Vinci started out the first round hitting your boy Bam Rodriguez with a big, shot early on and I think that just woke the 22 year old up automatically as if he was asleep anyway he wasn't <laughs> by a long shot and from that it was just like Rodriguez just opened up over the final what I don't know 32 30 seconds of the fight landing with clean shots using that excellent jab and for real, for real, that set the whole tone from the second round to the third round to the fourth round to the fifth round to the sixth round. Look, Rodriguez was using beautiful footwork, that southpaw jab, his speed, his angles, almost kind of reminded you of a Lomachenko-esque type fight because the way he was using those angles, that jab, he was landing majority of all his shots. Man, look, the seventh round, your boy Bam floored Rung Vinci for real with a left hand and then just poured on punishment late in the round. And I mean, the crowd was going bananas for real. And it was looking like he was gonna stop him in the seventh round, but you know, Hey, Rung Vinci made it out of there with his experience. And I tell you what, though, in round eight, that's when it went down. <laughs> that's when it all came to fruition. Bam Rodriguez with a TKO in the eighth round over Rung Vinci. You know, look, Rung Vinci <laughs> was one of those experienced fighters that every young fighter need to have to gain that ringmanship to gain that experience you need because you can't get experience like that fighting uh lower level fighters that really don't have good experience this right here was a championship caliber fight period hands down look your boy rodriguez he retained his WBC Junior Bantamweight title in a masterful, and I do mean a masterful display of boxing. You know, he used barrages of punches on Rung Vinci. He had him at the ropes at times um, that, you know, led to that stoppage. And I mean, man. 22 years old i still can't get over it y'all you know what i mean he's only one year behind devin haney and that lets you know that this young boxing class has some of the best fighters and i do mean one of the best fighters in the division in that bantamweight division so what's next for bam rodriguez who knows you know um, a lot of people would like to see him stay in the 115 and fight, but, you know, hey, his trainer, Robert Garcia, 
nah, not so much. He's thinking, you know, shoot. With that impressive victory, <sighs> look, you would think that you would want to see him stay in that division, 115, defend the title again. But, hey, Robert Garcia, he got a whole nother mindset. He's thinking that, hey, you know, Ben Rodriguez will go back down to 112 to his normal weight class and, you know, make some defenses there, you know, fight some guys in that weight class. You know, uh, Rodriguez, he abruptly moved up to the 115 uh, pound class in February, you know, to fight Carlos Condodras. But, you know, after some uh, SOR Rung Vinsai pulled out because of illness, you know, <laughs> that's what happened in February. But now we had to fight. Now you understand why Rung Vinsai <laughs> probably didn't really want to fight this boy. And uh, look, shoot. Check out what Robert Garcia had to say. He said that honestly, he want he want Bam to move back down to 112. This is what he told Little Giant Box, you know, in the interview. He said, look, if there's a champion at 112, you know, that's that's really where we would like to fight it, you know? Uh, reason being is because um, Arroba, uh, um, another fighter that Rodriguez wanted to fight, uh, McWilliams, and uh, Aurora, supposedly had fought on the same call, but your boy Aurora, you know, he ain't fought, what, two times in 2019? <laughs> And, uh, you know, basically saying that your boy Aurora, he ain't trying to see none of that. He ain't, he ain't trying to see, <laughs> he ain't trying to see Bam at all. <laughs> he done ducked this boy about four times. <laughs> so, you know, is he going to stay at 115 or is he going to go back down to 112? I tell you what, though, after this type of performance right here, your boy Bam Rodriguez, he has options, period. He has options. He, look, he even got his boy uh, Shakur Stevenson saying, man, look, hey, in two years, shh, I, I, I see Bam and, 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 and Nui fighting each other. Come on, man, the monster. Woo, that would be a nice fight. That would be an awesome fight because, you know, Donito Donaire, you know, he... He just got put out, you know. A lot of people saying it's because of the glove wraps, things of that nature, which it could have been. But, you know, only the future will really tell. Time will tell all. And uh, we got a very, very good young fighter from Texas named Bam Rodriguez. And I tell you what, y'all, keep your eyes open for this young fighter right here, man. I tell you what, the future of boxing looks so promising when you got fighters like this. So anyway that's all i got for you in this video you already know the routine when you leave my house hit the like button hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time i drop these next latest and greatest videos here on primetime talk tv and i'm on social media everywhere and definitely go to the website primetimetalktv.com and copy you some merch hat shirts up all right y'all peace love i'm out